little girl who came from a tiny little village and I walked two kilometers to a one-teacher bush school. I heard that teacher one day say to my mother, you know, your daughter's going to be a failure in life because all she does is sit and look out the window all day and daydream. And I did, and I still do. And I used to dream and imagine. Then finally my mother took me to Sydney and I became a model. I could dance nightly just holding you tightly, my sweet. I could keep right on because you're so light on your feet. And then I started a model agency. And then I trained young people how to be models. And then I trained people of all ages to be the best they could be. Now I have my business college. And now I'm a businesswoman. Though it's no call dancing to me, it's romancing out loud. You're In Australia, I've had about 400,000 students. Loving what I've been teaching for uh, what, 65 years. And that to three generations I'm of Australia, right I go to my office six days of the week. So I love going in. I love to think I'm doing something worthwhile. I can Instead of just sitting down there feet. in Sydney watching TV and doing nothing. Let's to me, it's not work. Say, it's we'll a blessing. Be it's so easy to dance with you. When I came further into China, I read as much as I could about their etiquette and their good manners. So I presented myself in the best way possible. I think it's very important when you go from one country to another to learn about their good manners because your manners reflect you, who you are as a human being. You conduct yourself in an acceptable way. People will respect you. And so many Chinese now are traveling out of China. I have a lot of Chinese who come to my school in Sydney and my school in Brisbane. When they come to my classes, they want to know that they are. When they go out to dinner, when they're in business and have business meetings, that they are holding their knife and fork correctly. And now I find that the Chinese are very enthusiastic about learning about Western international manners. I just think that China has a wonderful history of being civilized. And now people are not following that. And this is a big problem here in China, really. Thousands and thousands of people, what they have to do is to hurry to get here and hurry to get into the lift and hurry to get on the train. And it seems that when you have millions of people, it doesn't seem to need to have good manners and to be aware of other human beings. And that's what I would love to bring back to China.